Dear Natasha, your life is about to change massively. First things first, let's tone back the black eyeliner and sort out that side fringe. In the next 18 months, you'll be doing everything you can to deny the fact that you were ever a seen kid. I know that you're heading into your A-levels, planning to become a doctor, but that's about to change for something you're much better at. You're about to fall in love with a new career. You'll land yourself a job as an industrial disease lawyer, full of those difficult challenges every day that you love. On top of that, you'll be meeting people who really need your help and getting them onto the road to rebuilding their lives and supporting their families. You've got a better head on you than anyone will give you credit for right now, even if your MySpace profile would suggest otherwise. You've got a plan, it's to run a small business selling pink tweezers, and that's gonna pay for your masters in medical ethics and law, which in itself will get you the job at Slater and Gordon. That's where you'll learn your craft as an industrial disease lawyer. You'll find some boy in the post room at your first job in a law firm, and he'll end up being your husband. So do text him back. You'll be able to annoy him for years with stories about the money you made selling silly pink tweezers instead of having a part-time job. In the coming years, you'll face setbacks you never thought you, of all people, would face. You'll face resistance from where you should be able to turn to for support, and if I told you what happens next, you'd say your life is heading off the rails. But it's not. It's heading off the beaten path. And those challenges suit you. They'll make you stronger, more resilient, more dynamic, more successful. You'll go through clearing, and you'll find yourself at Norwich University. You'll join the Territorial Army and you'll want to train as an artillery officer, and you'll even get paid to do so, and that funds your student life. You'll venture out and meet the best people there, who you'll hold on to your whole life, and they'll protect you from the worst when the world makes you stumble. You'll also chop all your hair off and spend two years telling yourself that it's great, until it grows back again. By the time you've been in the legal profession for 10 years, you'll have been crushed that a training contract eluded you, but you'll do what you always do, double down and find another way. You'll find out about the Silex route and make it work for you, and you'll get to watch other people at the firm take that same Silex path after you. You'll spend those 10 years not only watching the legal industry transform, into one where people from all walks of life can flourish, you'll also play your own part in making that happen. Because you're never going to lose that fire to challenge prejudice and inequality wherever you see it. You'll always work tirelessly to make the world more inclusive and open where it would normally stay closed off. As long as you stay true to your values and your beliefs, you'll keep that grounded personality and you'll need it to communicate with clients whose lives have been broken and that's when you can really get on with helping them. You'll work with asbestos victim support charities around the country so you'll get to meet and work with some of the most dedicated nurses and medical professionals in order to fix people's lives or at the very least bring them some comfort in the bleakest of times. Starting your A-levels now is the start of the tapestry of your life that will take you away from your home in Plymouth, off to Norwich, away with the Territorial Army to Texas and Germany, up to Manchester, into law, and ultimately to Slater and Gordon's industrial disease team, where you'll show up to work every day to help change people's lives for the better. Run off on adventures, run off and join the Territorial Army, run off, make your parents furious, just never run away from yourself. Your life is an adventure and it will definitely feel like one. Now stop messing around, wipe off that eyeliner and make the waves you want to make. <laughs>